As we get closer and closer to the release of Spider-Man No Way Home, we are going to start to see changes in what happens in the final film, specifically when we look at what we saw in previous marketing material and even trailers. Which brings us to the brand new update and pretty significant change, some would say, to Spider-Man's black suit. So we only get a quick glimpse of it in the brand new trailer, but yes, Spider-Man has a black suit. We of course see the computer pattern and design, and what was most striking was of course that the fingers and hands slash gauntlets still had the old design on them. They looked like they were part of the old Far From Home suit, the red and black suit. This, of course, was a major point of discussion of what exactly this suit was, as you can already get merchandise that features that exact suit. Now, priding themselves on having accurate recreation in the one-sixth scale format is, of course, Hot Toys. When I pay $250 to $350, I expect it to be screen accurate. So Hot Toys has revealed a brand new update on Spider-Man Far From Home, which features the brand new suit. And as you can tell, they've gotten rid of the old red hands and fingers. And they did state that the old design was based on early marketing material and prototype slash concept art that was sent to them that was meant to be in the final film. But getting closer to finalizing the last amount of special effects and working with Marvel Studios, Sony, and their partners, they were given the final design of the black suit, which now is reflected in the brand new image you see here. So first up, shout out to Hot Toys for taking note of the changes and implementing them quick, because as somebody that ordered this one and that has every Spider-Man PS4 Hot Toys to date, I like them to look accurate, so... This is going to be another one that's a great display piece, if you will, with its accuracy. And at the same time, I really do appreciate the transparency of how quick these changes were made. Because when they decided to reveal that initial hot toy with the red fingers and everything, it wasn't too long ago. Which means that that was still the locked-in design that was approved by Marvel Studios and Sony just this summer. But the final design is obviously changing because they saw fit to make that change so it's less distracting and whatever the suit is in the film clearly reflects this new direction. So overall, I am really happy with these changes and I honestly just cannot wait to see what the suit looks like in motion in the film. And then of course, add it to the wall and Spider-Man display because I honestly am starting to like the suit a lot more the more I see of it. I think once I see more in motion, it's going to solidify for me that it is one of those suits that does look good on the screen. Also, shout out to the cosplayers I know that bought the gold suit with the red fingers. Better start ordering the new update one, guys. Yep. <laughs> 